This is a demonstration of how to use the WCS auto query and the WCS auto solving solution. So let's open a recent file that we have here. So M31 field number three. So here's the image. Now we need to query a catalog for this region. So we go to WCS menu, auto WCS, and let's go down to Astro query. So the catalog name, this defaults only to Gaia DR2 right now. Perhaps in the future we could add in other catalogs to query. For now we're only doing Gaia DR2. Now we need the right ascension, which is the CVAL1, and the declination, which is the CVAL2, of the nominal pointing of this image. So this is actually in our header, in the image header, in the fits image header. So we have RA point and deck point, RA underscore PNT and deck underscore PNT in this case. Uh, the nominal pointing in RA and deck for this field. So that's what we want the query to use uh, for values. So if we just click on that, it shows us all the header keywords. And so we want those keywords selected. RA point and deck point is already there. Uh, the radius in arc minutes can be set to whatever you want. In our case, 17 arc minutes is a good radius for UBIT images. Uh, we can save the catalog query uh, in the current image directory. So it'll just save uh, the catalog query file, the bin, the bin table, along with this image. And we want to query a circular region, not a square region. So we'll leave it on circular region here. And so if we double click this now, double click Astro Query, it's going to use Python to do the Astro Query and download a catalog for this region for the nominal pointing of this image and its nominal radius. Okay, it's done. So this text box has turned green, which indicates to us that it has downloaded, successfully downloaded the file and place it in a directory and specify to itself where to locate it. Um, so 75 points is fine to use for the number of catalog points to use in the WCS solution. For UVIT, the scale range is fine to set at these values, 0.4, or, uh, 0.416 initial scale. The lower bound and upper bound is 0.4 and 0.43 arc seconds per pixel. Rotation, we have no idea what the rotation is going to be, so the rotation can just be initial rotation of 0 degrees, and the lower bound of minus 180, and the upper bound plus 180. This vertex angle tolerance can just be left at 0 0.25. Uh, we don't want to display generally because that's slow. Uh, we want to, these are just optional things uh, for the algorithm, so we want to condition triangle arrays, and we want to auto refine the WCS solution once the initial solution is found. So that's all set. So now we can simply hit solve and it finds a solution, an initial solution for us. It finds 35 points that it can use in an initial solution. Uh, it required 222 comparisons uh, to determine that solution. So that's 0% of all possible comparisons. Anyway, so that's our initial solution. So we can just clear that from the screen. We don't need to see that anymore, but now it's going to auto-refine. So auto-refining found 133 sources and a possible 225 that it was going to use. So those 133 sources are now spread across the entire field, which gives you a nice at least squares solution fitting the entire field as best as possible. So hit yes, we want to clear. And we can see at the lower right lower left corner here, it's reporting our positions in right ascension and declination. This crosshair shows the field orientation, and in our case, in this case, the field orientation is actually uh, collinear with sky coordinates. The uh, If we look at the world coordinate system keywords here, Kota 1 and Kota 2 are the field rotation angles, so they're pretty much zero degrees. Okay, so that's how you solve the WCS solution. So that has been put into the header. The WCS solution has been put into the header here. So if you want to save that now, you simply hit 
the save button, overwrite current file, and save, and now it'll just save that updated header along with the file, and you now have a complete WCS solution.